Hello, our guest today on Racket Sports Plus is Jacob Springmeyer, seven time Olympic gold medalist in badminton. Now, Jacob, I'd like to ask you a few questions. All right. How has badminton played a large role in your life? Well, you know, uh, my family grew up, um, most of, everyone in my family is playing badminton from age three, I believe. Um, when I was about five years old, my dad won the Olympic gold medal for badminton. Um, ever since then, uh, I think I was six when I got my first shuttlecock. And I've been, you know, playing with it, beating it around with my racket ever since then. And um, <laughs> quite frankly, you know, it just brings back so many good memories. I love badminton. It's developed into the person that I am now, the person I am today. And, you know, I love my racket. I named her Miss Daisy and painted her gold. It's, it's the way of the life, the way of the rackets, like, as I like to call it. Completely true. And thinking about that, when you won your seventh consecutive gold medal, what were your immediate thoughts? Uh, Disneyland, of course. I mean, that's where you got to go when you win the big uh, number seven. Took Miss Daisy, got her a plane ticket, and we flew right to Disneyland, jumped on Pirates of the Caribbean. We were going hard. We were going ham at Disneyland. It was pretty sick. Um, getting ready for number eight now. You know, it's time to prepare. That sounds amazing. How will you practice for your next next Olympics uh, when you're trying to break the world record for amount of gold medalists per person in badminton? Um, you know, it's a lot of aerobics, a lot of Pilates. You gotta throw on the spandex and you know sweat it out, as I like to say, sweat it out. Um, you know, 120 degree uh, rooms. We're always working. We're always trying to get better. You know, we're putting it on for the crowd. Um, Rep in American, red, white, and blue, you know, and uh, I mean, when I'm not doing that, I'm always, you know, on the courts with uh, the shuttlecock in my racket, Miss Daisy, and we're just beating it up, you know, tearing it apart, getting ready for the next Olympics, and uh, we're ready to roll, so watch out, we're coming. That sounds like it's going to be your main goal of your life, yep. and I, that would be my main goal, too. So. With you being such a large part of the badminton, badminton topic and badminton, you know, field, yeah, yeah. right? Badminton world. Would you ever consider teaching little children the way of the shuttlecock? <laughs> oh, that that's that's deep here. That's deep in my heart. You know, that's you know, you got to get the youth involved. I personally love to teach. Uh, little boys and little girls how to play with the shuttlecock and how to uh, use the racket with the proper technique. Um, quite frankly, you know, you have to have the youth involved to keep the sport going or else, you know, where's it going to go? You don't want badminton to die out. It's the best sport in the world, quite frankly. I've never, never played a sport cooler, better, more physical or demanding. Football, what's football, you know? You take a shuttlecock to the eye, what's that? I mean, that's going to hurt more than a freaking hit in football. I'll tell you that. Um, you know, the youth, you got to teach them how to play. It's quite simple. Got to teach them how to play. Well, I'm glad that our future badminton players have someone to look up to. Thank you, Jacob Springmeyer. Thank you. For Racket Sports Plus, I'm Jake Thomas. See you guys.